Greetings gamers, I'm Shootkapow, and we are back with another Showdown Alive. This time, we're, uh, if I can, if I can find it, we're gonna be playing some Gen 2 random battle. Uh, thank you guys so much for the reception on the last Showdown Alive, the Boom Spam and OU. That was kind of crazy, honestly. Uh, I didn't expect that to blow up so much, but, uh, we've got an interesting lead here. A curse... Rest talk Tauros into a Magneton. Uh, looks interesting for sure. Uh, it's HP Ice, Rest, Sleep Talk, Thunderbolt. Okay. Uh, it looks like the sets are much more centralized than this. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've actually like played Ranbats at all. Uh, I don't seem to have that many switch ins. Hypno looks like it tanks a lot of hits though. Uh, what does it do in return though? Nothing really. Okay. Um, I don't have a whole lot that hits this that isn't Hitmonlee, but luckily Hitmonlee is quite specially bulky. We can switch in that, then. Apply some pressure, make him switch out. Hopefully they don't have a grass type. Might want to try and scout for that, but who knows. How much is Hitmonlee going to be taken from this? Not too much. It's like a, it's a 3 hit KO, and we have Rest, Rest Chesto, so we are going to be able to take that. Also, sorry for my creaky chair. It's really annoying, but... It happens, it happens. They're taking a hot minute to make their move, let's drop that timer on them. Uh, but yeah, again, thank you guys so much for the support on the Boom Spam Live, that went kind of crazy. Um, I decided, you know, why not bring back the uh, Random Battle series, because it's been a hot minute since I've done the Gen 1 Random Battle Live. Are they gonna move, like, at all? Like, please do something. Oh, I've played this mode before? Hmm. I actually didn't know that. It's kind of crazy. Okay, I'm gonna pause until they make a move. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, they made a move. They switched in Moltres. So now we have Moltres into Hitmonlee. It's either Sunny Day or HP Grass. I don't think it really matters that much which it is. Uh, the main thing here is Fire Blast is gonna be annoying. Could burn. Oh, we do have chest out though. I think we meditate here. Boost our attack. Okay, they do set up Sunny Day. That makes Fire Blast a 2 a KO. That's very annoying. Um, do I want to risk chip on this, is the question. Moltres is very threatening at this point. I think I'm going to go for a Para. I think that's our biggest, um, our best bet here. Having a Skarmory is really nice. I don't know how good Skarmory is in Ranbat style. No para. No miss. No burn, though. That is nice. Uh, I don't think we want to risk going for that now. I've done that speed with Ampharos. Do it speed with Tauros. Do we live? We do live, barely. We do risk a burn now. And do we really- we don't kill on a turn. Uh, hip- oh, I meant to click on that, but- Oh well, I guess we're sacking hip now. It's not really doing much anyway. Uh, we can hope for a miss. It is Fire Blast, so... If we get off this Thunder Wave, that's really, really nice for us. Because this Moltres is very threatening to a lot of our team. the look of this matchup right now. I haven't played enough to get a read on the meta yet, but... Ooh, Fire Blast Mist. That's really huge. That's super, super huge. Okay, let's click Psychic. Uh, Fire Blast is no longer a guaranteed Oko. Full Para. It is now guaranteed not an Oko. That's very, very nice. Alright, let's keep clicking Psychic. Try and beat him down. Okay, the quick rest. Their special defense is dropped, though. So, we are going to be doing much more with Psychic. 3 KO. Alright. They switch to Mag. Uh, it's not going to be able to threaten us a whole bunch, and we do have Thunder Wave, which does hit it this gen. Thunderbolt. Alright. Let's go into something else. I don't really do anything with Ampharos. Mm -hmm. 
Tauros has the option of threaten out, but based on the fact that we switch out first turn against it, they probably do know that we don't have Earthquake. Man, this Magneton is really annoying. Let's just try and chip it down with Psychic, I think. Rest. Oh, wait, we're lefties on this. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Seems like almost a more stally metagame in some aspects than actual um, actual GSC because like almost everything is going to have lefties. If it's not lefties, it's uh, mint fairy, and you can just like get a full free heal once per game, and that's kind of wild to me. Steel types also don't have a whole lot of answers besides like uh, fire types like Moltres. I don't know, that's just the read I get in the meta right now. Could be fun, but... Under all oh, the crit, that is annoying, that is very annoying. For sure. Okay, let's click. Okay, into Flareon. We can spread a little more Kara. But Psychic again, and Quicking Growth, which I'm not a fan of. We can revenge this. Hypno is definitely over City's Welcome. It's done a lot with, um, man, another crit. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's see. It doesn't look like we have an Oko. And they have an Oko on Tauros. Um, there is always a mischance, there is always a parachance. Let's... do we want to try and go for Curse? I think we do. Mm, do we? I don't think so. Let's just quick double edge. Let's see how this goes. Is a tough matchup so far for sure. And. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate for sure. Alright, that's fine though. Ampharos is really slow. What? What is this mon's. 55 base speed? No! No! There's no way! There's absolutely no way! Okay, we have spikes on Delibird, Bird, which is really nice. Getting that entry, uh, entry chip damage is very, uh, very, very good. I'm thinking, going to you, HP flying. It's not guaranteed HP flying, but it's very likely. This one has options. Just hit the hidden power flying. And take out the Flareon. The scary, scary Flareon. Just get rid of it. Nice. Okay. Now I think we just kind of lose anyway. Yeah, because they can just send out one of these guys. And we still don't have anything that beats them. Ampharos has a 5 hit KO Thunderbolt. We also do just, like, eat a lot of hits with Ampharos. Okay, into Hypno. Hmm. Toxic Thunderwave. Hmm. We do have Rest, though. Uh, it doesn't look like it does a whole lot to us. We do have to oh, damage it. It does have Toxic, though. Which is unfortunate. But 
precarious situation. Stantler comes in. Okay. It's gonna be doing a lot of damage. We'll do a press with that. Kamperos kind of just sits on this team. I think I know it's going to be fun. Kamperos gone. And the press. We actually did right there. We're taking a look at it. special attack. It's crazy. Okay, Granbull comes out. That's interesting. Looks like a physical a curse setup sweeper, okay. Um, let's see, what threatens this the most? Oh, Primate actually just threatens an Oko with Cross Chop. Return. Big damage, but not big enough. This does threaten all the monsters that are revealed, so it forces them to either reveal something new, or take a lot of damage. Oh, and also, that's really good speed. Hold on, two elevens. Really, really good. Blossom, okay. Okay, what if I crit, though? Or... Punch with Rock Slide. Punch with rock side could work. It's a 30% chance, higher chance than cross chop crit. And what does this do in return to us? We have rest. 
sleep header miss. That was another option for sure. And now cross top hits 100% of the time for sure, definitely. Yep, uh huh. This prime is really, really nice. Oh, and we have mint berry, so even if you did hit that sleep powder, we just wake up. I definitely knew that. I was playing around that for sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. Prime it looks like a really good modern man bats. Hold on. Go back to Granbull. Uh huh. Okay. We send in Flareon. Let's well, rock slide. It's gonna do the best here. Uh, Fire Blast is a chance to kill, but it's low still. Flinch. Very good. Very good. Um. Do it again. Okay, just go to Steelix, and we miss anyway. Oh no, we don't miss, it just recovered immediately with lefties. Um, let's see. Curse Baton Pass Spiderweb. Hold on. Uh, can this have Rock Slide? It probably can, right? Okay, it can't, but it can have Explosion. Let's go Gyarados. Toxic, okay. Hydra. Time to Grand Bull. Alright. Oh, we still have speed, we have hidden power flying. The Hydro Pump crit was really, really good. Okay, Hound Down. It does have Sunny Day. So... Hmm. Right on? Resisted special stab. Oh, except Solar Beam, actually. Crunch Pursuit Solar Beam is. Two of those three moves. The chance of having Solar Beam is pretty high. Let's go right on. Let's scout a little bit. Sunny Day, right on. And then go to Ardidus. Actually, is Ardidus too valuable? Let's go back to Gyarados. I think that's the best option see if they have Solar Beam, and if they do, improvise, probably with Primeape. Okay, they do have Solar Beam. Uh, Gyarados actually still does really well here. Let's rest. Actually, no, let's hit Power Flying first. Then we can rest. Yeah, rest. Ooh, wait, that special defense drop is not good. It's very not good, actually. Hmm. It could pursue Solar Beam. It's guaranteed Fire Blast. So it's between. Oh, wait, no. It has Solar Beam and Crash. It can't be pursued. Okay, so we could switch this out. And then have a guaranteed answer to steal it later. I think it definitely uses Crunch here. Let's go. Hmm. Heracross gets up bad. Let's go Heracross. Oh, they have their own Heracross. Interesting. Okay. That's between Curse and Earthquake. We don't have Curse, unfortunately. Magneton gets O-Code. I think our flying kills, actually. Hold on. Let's go back to Gyarados. And... Okay, Steelix comes out. Let's rest now. We definitely want to recover our health, get rid of that poison. It's gonna put Gyarados in a much better position. Flareon, okay. Flareon doesn't do a whole lot here. Might set up growth. Oh, it crits double edge. That's not good. Mm. That crit on double edge is really, really unfortunate for us. Um, okay. We do still have Primeape. Primeape hits a lot of the rest of the team really hard. Doesn't do good into Heracross. And isn't a guaranteed to a K on Steelix, though it can overpower Steelix. Let's Rock Slide. Steelix comes out. Let's Cross Chop. does have an increased crit chance. We can't be O-code. 
We can always heal up with Mint Berry Rest. Oh, we crit. We crit. We're so goaded. We are so incredibly goaded. I love this Primate so much. Alright, Flareon comes back out. And this is precarious. This is very, very precarious for sure. Let's go right on Heracross. Double edge, okay. It's very likely growth. Also likely vision power graphs. So uh does power grass team power grass does kill guarantee. Uh right on this would be useful against Town Doom without Sun Up. Let's go Heracross. Okay, Heracross did us again. Oh, and no more geared us this time. Okay, let's try Ariados. I think Ariados is well into this. If we're able to pass enough curses to the right Mon, then we goad it. If not, that's not good. This has been a lot of switching around. Let's... Okay, we need a safe switch here. Okay. Okay. the same as Megaphone, a little more, and it's more consistent. Hmm. This is a tough game state. Very tough, for sure. Uh, we have Rest Talk at the very least, so we're able to do something. Oh my gosh, another crit. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. We crit too, at least, but you know. Man, I know Gen 1 missed a Bailus out either, because it's Gen 2. Okay. Here's where we're at 50, not even 50% chance to kill. Okay, Rock Slide done. And then Double Edge. It seems like a slightly less luck-based uh, metagame than Gen 1. Although, it does definitely still have quite a bit of RNG. Okay, Houndoom comes out. We just double-edge this, too. Yeah, okay, I think Primate Queens. I think Primate Queens, I think we're fine. Man. Now we just need... Rock Slide Flinch. Rest, okay. Let's go to Magneton. Let's just get enough chip damage on this. We want to get it into a state where... Okay, it doesn't look like it's Sleep Talk, which means it is... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Earthquake. Which means it's not Curse, which means we can go to Eridos. Ariados, and then free curse setup to take it out. What a game. <laughs> what a game. Well, okay, we, we still haven't won yet. We could still get crit through. But, barring any unlucky crits... <laughs> it's always so funny to me when people, like, exclamation point instead of slash the weaknesses in the chat. It's so funny. Cause like, why are you letting me know? Okay! Okay, okay! Um... Okay, they miss. The second one. And now we can sludge bomb. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this metagame? Oh man! Man! What, I was fighting a I'm just fighting an almost 1400 ninth player, that's crazy. Guess there's not a lot of people playing this ladder, huh? Well, um, we are now at like 25 in two games, so that should let you know 
just how long Gen 2 random battles take. Uh, but yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun, for sure. I definitely enjoyed the video, and if you did too, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more showdown lives like this. They're fun little, uh, quick videos for me to make. And I enjoy them, and they give me something to post. Uh, that isn't, you know, heavily edited content like my competitive Pokemon analyses, which have also been kind of taking off, so, uh, and then I've also got a nice little thing planned on pick, uh, well, I just kind of spoiled it there, but a fun little thing planned on Christmas that people who are veterans of my channel, as much of a veteran as you can be on a year-old channel, but people who have watched me since last year are gonna know what I've got planned for this December. But that is enough from me. I've been shoot capacity. Oh, yeah, thanks to my pra patron, Zanku and Super. Anyway, that is actually enough from me. This is shoot capacity over and out.